If you manage to get the lighting right in your 3D scene, but when you look at the renders something still feels off, there is a high chance that it looks wrong because of the harsh reflections. And sharp highlights mean that your image will be significantly less eye-pleasing, which means it will fail its main task to showcase your product as good as possible. Good photographers understand that maximizing the image visual appeal is the key to getting more impressions and sales of your product. So it seems like if you want to make the best images possible, you need to understand and take care of your reflections. But the good news is, it's actually quite simple, as many 3D artists success and grow their social media without having a lot of experience with lighting. Instead, they use these few simple techniques to get the lighting and reflections right every time. So, in this video, I will show you three ways that I use in my work and with my clients and also many other 3D artists use on daily basis to modify reflections in Blender and make them softer. They may seem simple, but they have a huge impact on the final result and they are not only applicable in 3D but also in real life photography. Let's get started. The highlights shape and quality is super important while rendering a glossy surface because they will be really visible at the end. So to make them smooth we need to make the light softer. It isn't as important in more matte surfaces because they will spread the light making the highlights look more diffused by default. But as you know Lego bricks and tiles are shiny so we need to focus on those highlights to make your renders look more pleasant and maximize your results. First I will show you all of the methods and at the end we will compare them together and choose the best method for soft lighting and use cases for the other methods. Soft lighting refers to minimizing harsh highlight edges. To achieve this effect we need to blur the edges of the reflections. In real life a softbox is a solution for harsh highlights. It works by placing a diffusion layer between the light and the subject to blur the light. Today I will show you various methods that explore different ways to replicate a softbox effect in Blender. The obvious way to make the light softer is to make the light source larger. And it will make the shadows softer, but it has a big problem which is that it will leave those ugly highlights visible. The first simple method is to use a gradient light texture. This approach enhances light edges by darkening them which helps to mask harsh highlights. It is made by using a white plane with emission shader that will make it glow and then adding a gradient image texture made in Photoshop onto it so it looks similar to how a real softbox works by having a hotspot in the middle. Without the gradient it works exactly the same as a normal light. You can also plug this texture into a area light instead of a plane and it works exactly the same. I I personally use planes for this method because they are easier to see what's going on with the gradient. To make the most of it, you need a HDR image of your gradient. This means it has to be saved as 32 bits instead of 8 or 16. When it is smaller than 32, there is a less light information in the photo and a gradient will really unnaturally change when increasing the intensity of the emission and we want our gradient to stay the same even if it's brighter. And with 32 bits, you can maximize the preservation of the original gradient. You can find couple simple gradients textures made by me in the description of this video. The main con of this method is that it has created those weird lines on the big glossy surface like a wing of this vulture droid, but it may be because of the particular gradient image I used in this render. I haven't found a way to resolve this problem yet, but it isn't really noticeable. The second technique is an evolution of the first one, but it has a bit different use case. It is to use a real life photo of a light to maximize the photorealism of your render. This method doesn't really improve the softness of the light in your scene, but it does something else to your reflections. Instead of blurring a highlight like other methods do it, it increases the quality and detail seen in it by reflecting an exact light source exactly like in real life photography. So it is an alternative way to improve your image if you don't like the soft effect too much. To do it, we need a high quality picture of a softbox and ideally also in the 32-bit format. But if you are watching this video, you probably don't have a softbox at home, nor a good camera to make a picture of it. Fortunately, someone has already made such pictures and incorporated them into Blender workflow. They are called Nice Light Pack Blender add-on and you can find them 
them on Blender Market site. They don't sponsor me, but it's the only way to get it easily in Blender without your own photos and it isn't that expensive. The cheapest option gives you a couple softboxes and umbrellas and other less important lights. You can change the parameters of them all and choose between the diffused or pure bulb mode and it costs only $12 which as I said isn't that expensive. Even if you would want to find those images in the internet, you probably would find them on different stocks where you would need to buy them anyway, so it's quite a good deal. I think they are really helpful and create similar results to normal lights but more realistic and it's perfect for situations in which you don't want the light to be soft for some reason but you have those glossy surfaces and you want to make the highlight look better and more realistic. The final method that I will show you today is to recreate a real life softbox but inside the blender environment. We do that by adding a translucent plane in front of the area light. With this method we build a softbox inside blender instead of projecting an image of it. To make it you need to change the material of a plane from principled BSDF to translucent BSDF using nodes. This method is really good and the only con of it is that it spills the light everywhere and you can't really control the fell off of the light which is blur of the light on the sides unless you make the light relatively small. So now let's summarize everything and choose the best solution for you. If we compare the gradient method with the translucent plane we can see that we get a bit different effect. With the gradient method we can have a visible light fell off on the sides but it can create weird lines on the flat surfaces. I would have used this method if you want to have the mentioned earlier light gradient on a model so the light isn't so uniform on the whole surface. The translucent plane doesn't seem to have any flaws and I would use it for most cases. And the softbox image is perfect if you want to have clean and detailed highlights. So the best way to achieve soft lighting in Blender is to use a translucent plane over your area light. I've also tried combining both methods and using a translucent plane with a gradient texture but it didn't really improve any of the cons of those methods so it doesn't really make sense to use it. And this wraps up this video. If you have learned anything today you can subscribe to my channel and if you want to learn more about lighting in Blender you can click on the video on the screen right now.